Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a review on the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. <laughs> okay, this is fairly new. Um, I found mine at Walmart and I think it might be Walmart exclusive, although I'm pretty sure it'll make it to the other drugstores soon enough. All right, um, this retail for about $7.00 give or take yeah seven dollars it wasn't like 9.99 or anything and it came in about seven to eight shades this is the deepest shade um that they offered in the display at walmart and this is number 40 and it's the shade dark okay that's what it looks like there what it is is a loose finishing powder um translucent but it also has a little bit of tint to it okay and I'll read you the back it says mineral based formula helps control shine and smooth skin's texture lightweight translucent coverage fresh natural look can be used alone or over foundation apply with a brush swirl brush into powder tap off excess and lightly dust over face all right so this is um the powder uh, it also has it has talc in it as well as silica in it so you know and you get 0 0.7 ounces or 20 grams of powder so let's go ahead and talk about this powder first off I love the price let's talk about what I like what I don't like give you my overall uh, I like the price um, I love the price actually I like the shade range um, I actually just save you some time I love this powder um, and I'm actually gonna go back to Walmart and look at the other ones I just picked you know the deepest one but if they may have a yellow one or I don't know or a straight translucent one I really don't know I just went to the dark side of the of the display uh anyway um I really enjoy this packaging I don't know this square uh, jar is just a breath of fresh air in my collection this is so much easier to store especially when all our drawers are square and have angles and have 90 degree angles not saying there's anything wrong with a round uh like a round container but I don't know this square is a breath of fresh air they're stackable I don't know I just really really enjoy this sharp square I really do call me crazy all right, so let's open it up as I made a mess here. Let's, let's tap some back in the thing, okay? So this is what the powder looks like. Again, it has some tint to it, okay? Again, love the packaging. So what this powder did for me, um, I used it a few, I used it, a few different ways definitely. Uh, the first way I used it was I set my, um, concealer underneath of my foundation. I use this underneath my foundation, um, over top of my foundation as well as on its own. Um, like as a powder foundation, which that wasn't the best way to use it. It's not a lot of coverage in that element. But anyway, under my foundation, what this did was I will put on some concealer. Um, I do have a routine that, um, it will be up before this, my full, my new full coverage routine where I'm using powder under found liquid foundation. And I've been using this powder underneath among other powders. I've been using this powder underneath and what it does is set my concealer very very lightly it almost as if it doesn't add another layer but it sets that concealer to prevent it from being sticky and tacky this is a very finely milled powder and I can really enjoy that it's really finely milled to the point where I don't feel anything on my skin I don't feel anything um, even though there's silica in it doesn't feel super super um, slick not slick um, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Smooth, if you will, but it's not rough. It's just, it's like, disappears. And so it sets, again, it sets my um, concealer underneath the foundation, but adds that layer. I do, I can say that it does add to my overall look being matte. I can't say that it adds to the longevity of it being matte. I have a couple other powders that are good for that. But it does add to that overall matte finish. And amongst my other things, I get some, some, wear time out of them but I don't think this itself is necessarily adding to the wear time but it's definitely adding to the matte finish and it's a beautiful matte finish if you will I've worn this over top of makeup again this is a very very light finishing powder I have other finishing powders that are just a little bit more heavier and I'll explain that but it's a very very light finishing powder again it gives a beautiful matte finish you know you put your your stuff on you have your liquid foundation you know how you do and you take this and dust this over your face it's an instant matte and it's a natural pretty matte situation again I don't think it adds to the longevity but of course my primers and my setting sprays and all of that put together you know we know what we do but it definitely it's it's a it's a light matte finish it does not 
um, make it look cakey or heavy. For an example, I'll use when I do my full coverage routine. If I use any of my my other like heavier finishing powders that make my face matte, I definitely got to go in with some Fix Plus because it will look powdery and not cakey, but really powdery and dry until I hit it with that Fix Plus and then everything settles and it's matte. This I don't need that. It does not look super super powdery because it is so lightweight. It is so lightweight and it is. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really good in that element. Again, what I don't like about the product, it does not add a lot of longevity in the sense of it's strictly finishing powder. It's it's not, some finishing powders that I have here, some powders, loose powders that I have here, just, just do a little more add to the longevity of my look. This one, but I can't, I don't hate it because of that, because what it does do, it does it very well. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and compare it to a couple. Um, the best, I, oh, also I have worn this on its own. I've worn this on its own and it really didn't know nothing. Like it made my face natural matte, but the oil like broke through because I didn't have on, you know, like a foundation or other thing. You know, my whole layers, I wore it on its own as like a powder foundation. Why? I don't know. It's not advertised as a powder foundation. So I, I don't know. It didn't do well in that element. It looked really natural and matte in the beginning, but it just, did, it needed a little bit more help to be a foundation, which... It, never, it doesn't claim to be a foundation, so that was my fault. All right, so my favorite, top three favorite, like, deep, um, tinted, translucent finishing powder situations. All right, the first one we have is the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. It's an oil control formula. This one is not as finely milled. I definitely feel this on my fingers. It's not as finely milled as the Maybelline. However, it's... Um, lasts a little bit longer than the Maybelline, okay? It lasts a little bit longer. However, comparing these two together, um, I think I have to pick the Maybelline because it just looks better. All right? Um, the next one that I have, oh, God, I can't get the top on this one, is my Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. Now, this one doesn't claim to um, be exactly like 100% translucent. It definitely does have a tint to it. So this one will give me more coverage than the Maybelline Fit Me and more, um, and it lasts longer. It does last longer. So, but this one is about 40 bucks. So this one is something that I do appreciate and I do love a little bit more than the Maybelline. However, however, it's like 40 bucks. Um, so if, like, I didn't have 40 bucks, I would definitely reach for the Maybelline or whatever have you. Um, the one, the high-end powder that I think the Maybelline reminds me the most of, wait for it, wait for it, is the La Mercier. The La Mercier in Deep, the translucent loose setting powder. And this is in the shade Medium Deep. This is a newer shade that came out. All right, so... It's not, I will say this, the, the Maybelline one is definitely deeper. This is a translucent, translucent, um, medium deep. This is translucent, deep, dark. It definitely has more, um, tint to it. So that could be something if you do want that evenness of that tint, maybe, um, your foundation might be a little light or your foundation might be a little off. This one, if it matches your skin tone, is definitely going to even that out. The Laura Mercier is not, it's just going to set very beautifully whatever you just put on okay without any flashback or anything like that the maybelline does not give flashback however i haven't tested the lighter shades and i will do that um so it reminds me of this finely milled don't feel anything on my hand definitely finely milled this one again is like a 38 dollar powder uh this one's a seven dollar powder definitely finely milled the la mercier um the la mercier Honestly, it's not as matte as the Fit Me. It, it's matte in the sense of it, it, I can't really explain it. It definitely isn't. It takes away any shine and sets anything you put on. But this Maybelline Fit Me gives me a natural matte. Not saying I like it better than that. They do, they do, you know, their own things. But if I had to compare one, I definitely think it's one of the best loose powders that I've discovered so far in the drugstore. Um, this Laura Mercier is definitely good for 
uh, setting concealer, setting under eye baking, things like that. It's definitely really good with that. The Maybelline, however, is a great all over. I really don't set all over my face with this unless it's adjusting a foundation. Like a if I, I need this like tone to adjust the foundation, it really works good for that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, yeah, also, this only has two shades, or three shades, Universal, Translucent, and now Translucent, translucent Medium Deep. So it has like eight, I'm just saying. Um, I just want to compare it to a couple other powders. Um, is there anything else? Is there anything else that... So I address all the claims, helps control shine, yes, and smooth skin, skin texture, very natural, matte, soft focus, really pretty. Lightweight translucent coverage, definitely a lightweight coverage. It's not adding a lot of coverage. Fresh natural look, again, can be used alone or over foundation. I used it alone. Um, it evened it out, made it pretty. If that's all you need, you don't have oily skin or you have normal skin, I definitely can see this being okay, but me being super oily, I need all the help I can get, honey. So it really didn't do well with me alone. But over foundation, again, like I explained, it's really really nice I highly recommend it I'm definitely going back to Walmart as soon as possible to pick up some other shades of this to see and compare um what they have or if I catch them in my drugstore you know Maybelline coupons and things like that one thing about drugstore makeup you pretty much never have to pay full price if you get a good coupon or a good sale but yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this product go ahead, or any other products I mentioned go ahead and leave them down below I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye